Party people. I got back from Australia. I missed the workout yesterday. I missed, you know, there's actually been a lot of workouts that I've missed the last couple weeks with travels to Australia, puppies breaking their legs. So I kind of wanted to go over what to do when I miss a workout or when you miss a workout. This, this is kind of like my go-to um, if I'm in a pinch or if I'm only, only getting to train, let's say three or four times that week and I have to combine two workouts. This is a great one that I combine. So this is a chest and back. It's all about getting in the compound movements at the beginning of the workout. So we're gonna work on the bench press, the incline, and then the, the pull-ups. And then a little bit more of the, you know, we have the cable flies, we still have the dips for chest. So what it is here, we're supersetting chest and back for the first two supersets. And then the last two things we have is a chest and chest superset, and then a giant set that includes some back and a little bit of chest stretching with the pullovers, with the dumbbell pullovers. So this right here, we're gonna be doing a neutral grip pull-up, weighted, 12, 10, eight. So we do 12 reps here, then 12 reps on the incline bench press. Um, and you're gonna have to do these weighted if, if you're a strong lad. We're gonna have to get weighted here. Um, and then 90 seconds rest after we complete the superset, and then we come back, 10 reps, 10 reps, 90 seconds, eight reps, eight reps, then you're done. So that's not including warm-up sets, you guys, if you need to warm up on this, we're gonna go through a whole warm up because we always go through a whole warm up. We have a whole five minute, 10 minute warm up routine. After that, dumbbell neutral grip alternating. So these are super cool and we'll show them to you down there. They're a little bit different probably than anything you've ever done, really working on stabilizing muscles. And then we have a chest supported row, really a nice and wide grip there. Again, 12, 12, eight, 10, 10, eight, eight, 90 seconds rest in between. Cable fly. Don't have to explain that. And dips for chest, we have four sets of 10 there. So that's a crazy intense pump, 30 seconds or less between each superset there. Um, and then we have the pretty much the same three sets of 10 for three different exercises down here. Again, I'm combining my chest day and my back day into one. So what do we do? We still get the same amount of work done in the same time by doing supersets. And again, I probably, this probably wouldn't be a typical chest day. I might actually, it's probably, it's probably one exercise short for each. But if you look at the total number of sets and reps, um, it's just, it's probably about 75% of what I would do on any given one of these body part days. So keep that in mind. We, it's, it's a lot of work, but um, it's a great way for me to get all that work done in the same amount of time. So. Let's go warm up and let's hit this. The pump's gonna be insane. Yo, here we go. How about that warm up though? That warm up was more intense than most people's workouts. Neutral grip, we got 12 reps here. Straight into our incline for 12 reps. Again, this is just our first set, so we're gonna be pyramiding up in weight. 225 here for 12 reps. Do your thing. So we're back here, we got 10 reps. Uh, that's a 40 pound vest with a 10 pound weight belt around. So it's nice and heavy, gotta get that chin above. Added weight here for 10 reps. I think I have on 245 here. Getting stronger, following the program. It's nice because we have incline bench here first. Usually it's a flat bench. Today it's switched up. Strapping on for the last set. Commando style. Yo, Steve's the type of guy that would strap the weight belts around his chest just to look like Stallone from Rambo. So I think all said and done, this is 70 pounds, 40 pound vest. This one's 20, and the other one's 10. So yeah, 70 pounds. I don't think I'll be able to do this one. That's heavy. Okay, eight reps. Dang it. We'll just go around the waist with this one. Oh, I'm tired just from putting that on. There we go. Eight reps here. This one, it's an all out fight to get 
everything's burning. Biceps are taking over a little bit here, but this is just pound for pound the heaviest set of the entire workout. It's exhausting. I only got seven reps. Wasn't too happy about that. Over to the incline bench. Eight reps on this. This one is the last set best set. You guys know how we do. The forearm veins are screaming. Steve, what are you doing to us? The neck vein, but again, middle of the chest, up above, over the eyes. I don't think I got eight there either. I just go to a failure. Um, next up, alternating dumbbell press. This is one of my favorites here. You don't often see people doing this. We're supersetting that with a wide grip chest supported row. This particular machine just takes the air right out of me. So hard to breathe on this machine. So with this, we're doing obviously alternating here. Biggest thing is that off arm is holding stable while the working arm is performing the press. You gotta keep the elbows close to the sides there. Uh, and then back for 10 reps on our chest supported wide grip. We're going wide here. This is our last set. This is our set of eight here on the dumbbell neutral grip alternating bench. That's a, that's a full, that's a mouthful right there. So 100 reps here, eight reps. Again, you can see the triceps being activated as I'm locking it out there. So you're pre-fatiguing the triceps here. So I can actually depress, it's hard on the chest. Straight into our chest finisher superset here. We have our cable flies with our decline chest dips here we're just pretty much going to failure on these like this here i'm trying to knock out 12 reps right in that area you can see what i'm doing here is i'm trying to keep my elbows try to touch my elbows and then here i'm not locking all the way out again it's not a tricep exercise i'm going slightly below 90 degrees getting good chest stretch and then all the way up this is the last set here just burning at this point so again this is the the super set where there's no back included it's all chest just to finish that off, absolutely gassed. Again, this is about 75% of what we would do in a full chest workout with no back. Like if I was just training chest, it's about 75%. So here is our back giant set, single arm hammer strength rows here. This is one of my favorite exercises. I love doing this single arm here, just supporting myself with that offhand. We have 12 reps here. Go get some. This sweatshirt is actually part of my new line. I like it because it makes the shoulders, no matter what. It makes the shoulders look wider. Squeezing to the right, you know, the lower lat there. And then this is a high to low row. You can see I'm trying to angle my body slightly forward. So just it pulls a little. If I was leaning back, I'd be targeting a little bit more upper back. So by leaning forward slightly, trying to target that lower lat. And then the last exercise we're doing with this is a dumbbell pullover. Trying to keep my arms straight. That's a little bit hard as we go down. And then as you pull up, again, this is, you can't change, you know, your rib cage, but this is a great exercise, including the lats, the triceps, and the chest. So dumbbell pullovers here, trying to get, you know, that bigger chest back cavity. You know, you, this is that exercise you want to do. That's an ass kicker right there. Point of this, you have two, two days that you're combining it into one in that superset fashion. It's killing my cardio. It's like full-fledged cardio right there. I haven't been doing cardio since I've been on the road. It's nice though to sweat out the jet lag. Can definitely feel um, when you travel a lot. For those of you guys out there that travel, you know how it is. Just mentally foggy. So it's so good to come in, set your goals on something that you can see visually, like on that whiteboard. Having that or having my app, I just pretty much took the big chunks that we were doing from the Swole program and then I kind of modified it and this workout was about, like I said, 75% of what we'd normally do for a back and about 75% of what we'd normally do for my chest. And I am dog tired right now. I, 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 I'm gonna be the first person to say it. I'm not where I wanna be cardiovascular wise. We've been doing the swole program. I've been cheating on the cardio. Definitely have not been doing it and I feel it. So that's gonna be one of the things that I write down this week, put it on my fridge do your cardio, eat right. Too many Tim Tams. I appreciate you guys all bringing those Tim Tams and everything, but it's time to be accountable to yourself. I heard something that was really good that I really liked yesterday. Imagine your life right now. Imagine the steering wheel of your life. So picture that steering wheel. What color is it? 
and I'm picturing my Jeep steering wheel black. That's, that's my steering wheel for my life. And then picture all the people that have an influence. Picture their hands on your steering wheel. Families, friends, parents, loved ones, kids, everything. And then just picture everyone taking their hands off of the steering wheel and just having your hands on there. You're the one who is in control of your life. You can't allow other people to control your life. And that's a hard thing to do because for a lot of us, as we grow up, you know, as kids, we need steering wheels. We need hands on our steering wheel. But, and, and so, so many of us equate love with control. Control with happiness and obedience. But when we get to that age where we're now 20, 30, 40, you need to be able to control your own life. Make your own decisions. Um, because then you empower yourself. You, you take back the power that you've been giving out to all those other people that have their hands on your steering wheel. So take back your life. Put your hands on your steering wheel. Get everyone else's off of it. It's your life. It's your steering wheel. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the description box if you guys like this style where I do a lot of voiceover and then talk to you guys at the beginning and end. It's, it's easy for me because I can concentrate on my workout. And when you're feeling like you're not getting great workouts, the hardest thing to do is to always be talking to the camera and thinking about what you need to say. So sometimes these style of videos really help me out. But thank you so much. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't. We're almost to a million. We're getting close. And again, thank you guys for watching.